Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today we are going to dive into a new topic and uh, that is how to run Angular locally with uh, HTTPS using uh, Maxet and uh, Maxet here is uh, a simple tool that allows developers to create locally trusted uh, secure shell certificate for use in local environments so yeah if you are developing some of applications it may be yeah you might need uh, to make use of uh, this HTTPS for example when we uh, develop uh, multimedia applications like uh, WebRTC and so on we might uh, need to use this HTTPS and this is why I intended to do this video quickly here if you are using Linux, Ubuntu, then you may you might need to use a sudo apt install maxet, and then for Fedora base you may use uh, this command here, and for Arch base uh, Linux system you might use uh, this command here. But this one here I'm going to use Windows, and in order to get started here, so if you don't have it installed, I assume that you don't, then you need to open the terminal, uh, the command here with admin as admin, then accept that. And once you have that one, uh, you are going to install it using uh, uh, this command here. We use this one in Windows. In Windows. We are going to make use of Shoko uh, using Chocolaté. So we will make use of this one here. I make it bigger. So Shoko uh, install Maxet. And because I already have this one installed in my system, I will not have to do this one, but we will have to run this one and accept and accept whatever will come and then after that one you might need to uh, uh, reconfirm it after that one you will write uh, you will need to write uh, make set versions and here you will see this uh, versions here if you don't find it then you might need to reinstall it this same now just write in uh, uh, max set install so that one is set I assume that uh, you have successfully installed it and you reach uh, this way this uh, level here and that's where you have to take it and continue so we remove everything and then now we we'll need to open our uh, IDE. So here is our IDE here. Uh, we are going to make use of VS Code. And we open here the terminal, go into our drive. And then we make a new Angular project. I assume that you already have Angular installed. Uh, hmm. If it is version V, no, ng versions, yeah. So here is the versions of Angular that uh, I have here. I have Angular 18. So, yeah make sure that you have it installed then we create a new project ng new angular https 001 is our projects and then we take the default css no it will take some time to install
Now it's taking some time to install. Depending on your uh, internet speed and PC capacities, configurations, yeah, and it is okay. It is okay now. So we clear the things and now go into our newly created project. This is this one here. Uh, we are there, we did not even need to do that. Then we open the folder, and uh, this one here is our folder. Here is our brand new uh, projects. So, <clears throat> what we have to do now is uh, is uh, simple now. What we have to do, so. <clears throat> And uh, we need to start uh, the configurations. Yeah. So here you have to choose the place where you install uh, the certificates. But here, for the sake of this video here, we are going to keep it here in the main directory. So we create it here. And then you want to make it run locally first. Right. So we are going to generate the certificate for local host. And here we set the local host here and our default uh, 127.0.0.1. Then running this one here, as you can see here, we get a new certificate, which will expire certificates and the key which will expire here on, yeah, 2027. So in almost three years and uh, here you can see the new uh, these are the two these are certificates which is generated here and this is our key private key so we have them here so far so good and then the next thing that we have to do now is to configure our angular you need to configure our angular uh, to use HTTPS and in order to do that one here, we need to go to our angular.json. Then down here, we go to saved. We look for saved. Here is the save options. Here is the save. Configurations here, we come here inside uh, configurations here. And then we are here inside here. Then at the end of this one, we have to put a new configurations and uh, this uh, new configurations here will be options right we type options and then this one do you want to use SSL true right then next SSL set then we have to indicate the part where our SSL is located. And for this one here, it is here. So you right click this one, take uh, copy the relative path, and then put it here. Then next one is our key, SSL key. All right, and we take this one, we copy the relative path, and we put it here. Then once this one is done, our system is ready. So we go need now to go and ng build our projects. Here we are building our projects. <laughs> okay, then ng saved. Mm. 
you can see that now our project is reachable on the HTTPS here. Yeah. HTTPS, then now if we open our windows here and type HTTPS, as you can see here, it is HTTPS, that one, bam, you can see that our project here is reachable on the, this uh, uh, HTTPS. So I hope that uh, this one is useful to you then yeah.